Hey, it's Jared. I've got a bunch of Peak Design camera cubes, the version two of these camera cubes. And I wanted to talk about why this is how I'm organizing my photography equipment these days when I am needing to go out into the world with it. Whether I am packing for a hike and taking a camera and maybe a lens with me, or I'm going on a job that may even require me to travel, these camera cubes help me keep my equipment organized, safe, and also easy to carry throughout the different types of scenarios that I find myself in. Now, in the past, it required me to purchase different bags for every scenario, and it was really annoying to have to purchase all these different bags because maybe I needed a small bag for scenario A, and I needed a very large bag for scenario C. Not having a bag that was modular and a system that was modular definitely meant that I had a lot more equipment than I really wanted to have. Sometimes a bag just wasn't the right size for what I needed. And so these cubes are extremely useful and let's talk about them. So I have three different sizes of the cubes. They come in a few other sizes as well. This is the medium, this is the small, this is the extra small as far as the cubes go. And so let's start out with the largest cube and we'll work our way down. And then I'm gonna talk about what all of these different things on the cubes do and how you can utilize those to even use these as bags specifically, which, just adds to the modular geniusness of these camera cubes. Let's open this one up from the top. We've got zippers that go off to the side and then of course the lid flips up and back and we've got access to the cube here. I've kind of made some adjustments to the way that it came uh, from the factory to fit my camera and I am constantly adjusting these different dividers based on what it is that I need to carry. Like most camera bags, these are Velcro, and so you can just easily move them and realign them and position them based on your needs. And so I've got a camera body in here, I've got another small camera body, I've got a few different lenses, I've got some batteries over here, I've got another spot here I could put some things. There's a lot that I can fit in this medium cube. And this medium cube typically would carry enough for me to handle most situations that I find myself in photography wise professionally. Like I might need a camera body and a backup camera body, a couple different lenses, some batteries, some SD card, and maybe a few filters that all would fit in this camera cube. And what's great is I could take the cube out of my backpack. So maybe my backpack has clothes and other things in it, a laptop. I don't wanna have to lug that stuff around with me all the time. I just wanna grab my photography equipment and take that with me and not have to take everything else with me. I can leave that behind in the car, leave it back at the hotel room, whatever the situation is, and just take out the cube and have access to everything. It doesn't end there at access. Of course, we can zip open the top and get full access to the entire cube. But the cube of this size also has side access. And a lot of the bags that you might fit this in also have side access. And so you open the side access to the bag, and then you also get side access to the cube as well and that opens up and here we've got access to the camera body and I can pull the camera right out of here, which is absolutely fantastic. Very easy to access just the camera without having to pull the entire cube out of the bag and access everything else. And likewise, I can also open this side and gain access to what I have over here. Could be a lens, could be another camera body, whatever I had positioned in that section. So those are great ways to be able to access something like this camera cube. But the camera cube also has these connecting points on the side. And if we move over to the small camera cube, it also has connecting points that match up and it's almost like they should be connected with something, right? Well, these camera cubes are gonna come with these C-clips and these C-clips allow you to connect these together, which you may or may not wanna do. I know for me, I tend to not connect them together because I might just wanna pull one cube out of my bag and leave the other one in. But if I want to connect them and make sure that they're staying connected and they're not slipping and moving around, I just simply use the C-clip to connect these. So I slide one in there, slide the other one in it's, takes a couple of seconds of just getting everything aligned and then connect the little clip and now we've got these connected and if I put the other clip here I can easily pick this up and carry the bags together as one unit which makes it a lot easier than having multiple camera cubes that are just floating around and so these c-clips are a really cool way to increase the modular usefulness here functionality 
of these camera cubes by allowing you to connect them together. I use them sometimes, but not most of the time, because most of the time I want to be able to pull one cube out versus having them connected all the time. You can use those if it makes sense for you. It might not make sense for you all the time. But we also have these attachment points down here because what we can do is use a Peak Design camera strap to turn this into a camera bag. And so now you're thinking, okay, yeah, I wanna carry this cube around with me. It's much easier for me just to carry my camera bag around with me because it has straps and I can attach it. I don't wanna be attached to the handle here. You don't have to be. You go ahead and grab your Peak Design camera strap, which I don't have in front of me, but I do have a Peak Design enabled camera strap. This is a leather strap that I purchased off the internet and it has Peak Design connection points on it. And all I have to do is take one of these and loop it through just like so, like what these are designed to do to be looped through things like the eyelets on your camera to attach a camera strap or something like that. I just simply put this here and then attach the other one wherever it makes sense. You know, you might attach it to the opposing side. You might attach it to the same side here because this is where you would access your camera body. This attached here, this attached here, shoulder bag is now what this camera cube has become. It is now a shoulder bag, which is super awesome. Now, I might not necessarily do that with the medium cube because it's a little big and it would be a lot to carry around in that way. I might go with the smaller camera cube and utilize the smaller camera cube in that way. Moving over, we have our small camera cube and then we have the extra small. Don't forget about the extra small. That is the most recent size that they have added to this lineup. The small camera cube, we open up same way, two zippers, and then we have access to a camera body. We've got enough room for a lens, maybe a flash or a smaller lens and a bigger flash or some accessories and stuff in there. And you also probably notice that there's this Velcro pouch in here that's actually removable. It was in the, the medium camera cube as well. This Velcro pouch is where you're gonna find your C-clips. So your C-clips are gonna come there. And this Velcro pouch also is good for SD cards or like little tools. You can see it also has some pockets in here as well. So this is great for storing additional items that are smaller inside of your bag because it just Velcro attaches anywhere in your bag that you wanna put it. So looking at this small camera cube, you notice it has a lot of these hooks all around the edges as well so that you can attach a strap and utilize this like a camera bag. If this was on my side like this, what I love about this is that I don't have to waste my time zipping one of these at a time. That's tedious, also time consuming. And if this was my bag off to the side here, I could just pull back full access to the entire thing. Let me do that again for you because I find that oddly satisfying. Simply pull and it opens the entire top and I have access to everything that's in that bag, which is super fast and super tactical if you wanted to apply that term to it. But what I also love about this bag, just like the other bags, it has a handle and so I can carry this bag by itself, just like the medium has a handle and the large has a handle. All of these have handles to easily carry them. And then of course the mounting points to attach them together and then the mounting points to attach a strap to that and make it something that's grab and go. And you could even just have these attached to them where it makes sense so that all you have to do is just attach your camera strap to it. You can take that off, attach it to your camera, attach it to pretty much anything. It becomes a really modular system where you don't have to have a whole bunch of camera straps. You just have to have a lot of good Peak Design connection points so that you can move your strap amongst the different bags you find yourself using. Moving on to the extra small, they designed this extra small with a couple of things in mind. First of all, smaller cameras are gonna fit well in this. But what I thought was purely genius was the fact that you can put a DJI Mini 4 Pro or Mini 3 Pro or drone of that size in here, that small drone, that 249 gram size drone, in here, including the remote, and it's gonna fit in this tiny bag. Of course, you're not gonna be able to fit a ton of accessories in there, but it's a nice compact bag for that. So let's open it up and take a look at what I have inside of this bag. Well, I finally got my hands on a Leica Q3. And so I put my Leica Q3 in it because it's a nice tight fit right in there. I've got room for a filter and I've got room for the Leica lens cap in there as well. And that's how I've been using it. 
you can see that I moved this divider over so that there'd be room for the full camera. This is how it came naturally. And if you look at the size of this bag, you could fit a small drone in here, and then you can use the dividers over the top to separate your remote control from the drone. And you could fit a small drone in here and a remote control and, and even an extra battery, and then tuck this away along with your other modular bags, creating just a really great system for storing all of your equipment and making it easily accessible. And one last little feature of the Mini is this hidden pouch that it has here for that separation. So earlier I mentioned like, you know, some sort of separation between perhaps your drone and your controller, your remote control. It actually provides this in the case. And so I could slide this right out and this is a cover that I can have in here. And so perhaps if this was folded down a bit or I just didn't even have these dividers in here at all, or I was using one of the dividers that has the built-in shelf, I could position this a bit lower, or just simply set it right on top of the drone, set the controller right on top of it, and it provides protection. This can be uh, a little bit fun to uh, put back into its home. I found folding it into a taco and sliding it in and then just working it out like that is the best option. But nonetheless, that is another neat built-in feature of this new mini version two that they have here that provides additional utility to this type of storage. That's why I like this as opposed to having cases and different bags and stuff like that. This system grows and shrinks as I need it to and I'm not beholden to the fixed size that my cases are or my other bags are and having a bunch of empty real estate inside that bag. I can utilize that real estate in a different way for clothing or for other things that I would wanna use in that bag besides photography equipment. And that's where I think the true power of this camera cube system is in utilizing them with Peak Design's other bags is the ability to adjust the size of your bag based on the needs that you have. So of course this small bag also has the hooks here where we can attach a camera strap and use this as a camera bag, which is nice and easily accessible because it's got the zips. It doesn't have like the pull tab uh, availability that the small bag does, but still easily accessible to get to everything that's in this bag. I love the design of this small bag and it's been extremely useful for me when I just wanna take a smaller camera and one accessory with me and not take a whole bunch of stuff that's gonna require a bulky carrying system. Even if it is a smaller bag or even a medium sized bag, I really like this. And I love the fact that the handle goes all the way around. I can carry it from any angle. And then it also has the attachment point so that I can use it with a camera strap as a side bag as well. Awesome that all of these are so modular. So I know I've been just talking this up like as if I'm getting sponsored by them to create this video. I'll be honest, they did send me two of these small bags. I had purchased these previously. Peak Design sent me the small one because they liked my other video that I created on the Peak Design Everyday Travel Bag. And so if you're wondering like, how do all of these work with a actual Peak Design bag? Check out that other video. I talked through and walked through that bag in depth and it has a ton of features that I think are gonna add value if you travel, if you utilize a backpack in multiple different ways besides photography as well, or you desire to, that video will be useful for you. But thanks so much for sticking through this video. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I tend to go a little bit deeper in talking about how I utilize some of these things. I don't talk about everything, but when I do talk about things, it's usually how I am deeply integrating it into my life as a photographer, content creator, video creator, all of those titles that I find myself in when utilizing this type of equipment. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.